This is uh, 66 Impala, and um, as you can see, it's um, not too bad. Show it off just a little bit. It's nighttime, but um, I thought I'd show you guys now. So before I start to work on it, I'm not a car expert or anything like that. So you know, uh, you have to bear with me to sh what, as I as I show you what I got. But basically. Nighttime, you can't see anything, and that's what I'm kind of seeing that you can't. So, but it's pretty clean. I've always wanted one of these, and uh, just got it from a, from a guy that didn't work on it, don't didn't want to do anything with it, and uh, I just I drove it here. Let me close the store. I drove it here, and it worked well. And as soon as I got home, the the hot um, light came on in the dashboard, which was maybe due to the fact that I drove it really far but uh, I'm gonna take it to the mechanic and f find out why that is there's also a leak underneath a very small leak a very tiny tiny leak of transmission fluid so I'm gonna check that out but uh, it's basically 66 convertible and I couldn't drive it uh, today or any other day because there's no seat belts on it and that's the first thing that I wanted to do so I got on the internet and I started looking for places that sell uh, Impala stuff and to my surprise there's a ton of places but uh, like three or four of, of the big guys that really get into selling stuff but here's basically the back window that's like plexiglass sort of like plexiglass stuff it's not even like plastic stuff but uh, you know we'll have to check that out and see who can uh, replace that I'm sure they can and what I wanted to show tonight is the inside, what I'm doing here. So we get the beginning of it. Hey, my dogs want to jump in. Back, back. Anyway, um, so one of the reasons I wanted to show this is because uh, I wanted to like maybe show each part because there's nothing on YouTube that shows what to do and how to do it on Impala. It's just a bunch of guys showing off their lowriders and burning tires and races and shit excuse me and stuff shit so what I first want to do is get these seat belts gone because in California uh, it is against a lot of drive without seat belts and I don't want to risk even on an old car like this some may argue that I don't need one but I still don't want to fly out the window or out the uh, the top or have my passengers fly out so I ordered some seat belts uh, from this place in uh, Riverside and this kind of what they look like here Take these out they come in a box like this and uh, they're actually let me show you the ones that I already took out uh, where are you pretty funky I guess it's what the the ones with the Impala emblem on it brand new there's a tape on it I mean a plastic on it these are gonna be the ones that are gonna be put on there so they told me in the instructions that I have to look for the uh, I guess the markings on the uh, on the car or drill some holes on it and what I did is I found these I I took the panel off this this panel off here which goes to uh, the kick plate or whatever you want to call it just unscrewed it and when I unscrewed it the, the carpet was on here and I just unfolded the carpet and there it is and then I started to look underneath the the seat and um, I found that, uh, let me show you with the slide here, that there's those holes there, or those plates there on, on, the, uh, on the seat. They're actually the seat plates. And around the corner in front are the other ones. And what I did is I sprayed some DW-40 on it, or um, some WD-40 on it, and then screwed them. And that's where I thought, okay, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tape this because... I'm going to show other people that are trying to you know, fix their cars, even youngsters or whatever, um, how to do it. And uh, I'm going to learn by trial and error too because I don't know, you know, what the hell I'm doing. But, you know, I just got to try to figure it out, I guess, and ask questions. And uh, I'll have to, you know, just um, just figure it out. But anyway, uh, the first step is to get a seatbelt going so I can drive this car uh, to any mechanic or any uh, any place that... Um, I need to take so I can repair it and it's not bad at all you know I'll be showing some more vids on on what I do with it and how, to, how it runs and the changes that I'm gonna make to it but 
basically in the morning I'll uh, another video I'll show the inside how in decent condition it is so stay tuned alright 966 Impala